Hi there, welcome along to Head Squeeze everybody. My name is Morna Fiskin and today we are going to look at how cellular respiration works. Now, respiration usually to some people means breathing, but it's actually not breathing. It's a series of chemical reactions that releases energy from every living cell in our body to allow our bodies and our cells to function properly. So for this, you're going to need some little yeast packets, a couple of plastic bottles, some balloons, granulated sugar, and some warm water. Now, first things first, take one of your little plastic bottles and you're going to fill it up with about an inch or so of warm water. There we go. We'll just do two for luck. There we are. Now, I'm gonna take a little yeast packet here and you can get a pair of scissors. Cut the top off very carefully, obviously. I'm gonna pour that into your bottle. Another one. Two. And what we want to do now is we want to add a tablespoon of granulated sugar. Great. Get a balloon. Best thing to do is blow the balloons up first to give a bit of stretch. Laugh at the rude noise. Pop it over the top. Give it a wee shake. There we go. Lovely. <sighs> Cue rude noise. Pop it over the top again. Another wee shake. And there you go. So your balloons start to fill up. And what they're filling up with is the carbon dioxide that's being produced by the respiration. So what's happening is the warm water is accelerating this reaction between the yeast and the sugar. And as that happens, it starts to produce carbon dioxide. Now I'll show you one we did earlier to see the amount of carbon dioxide that was produced from this earlier reaction, which we left for about, and this is about an hour or so, but it can happen over about 20 minutes. So here I have got a test tube and hiding down the side, I have this stuff, which is potassium chlorate, which is an oxidizing agent. Now we're going to put some potassium chlorate into the bottom of the test tube. And I'm going to use my little homemade um, scoop here, which is actually the lid of my pen. So I'm just going to pop that in there. So there is our potassium chlorate at the bottom. So you'll notice that it's a white powder. We don't want it to stay as a white powder though, we want it to go into its molten form, so we're going to uh, heat it up. So I'm going to use some safety goggles for this. Safety first. Pop the goggles on. I'm going to have to heat up that potassium chlorate now. Let's light my burner here. There we go. Morning makes fire. Cool. Now we're just going to melt that. It's going to take a few seconds like it did before, but just to see the effect, this one, we're going to bring the lights down in just a second so we can see the colours and the reaction taking place a bit better. So here we go. You see it's starting to turn. Let's get Mr Gummy Bear. Very pretty. Lights coming down, added the effect. Beautiful. Oh, and the room just smells like molten charred gummy bear. Yummy. So, potassium chlorate and the gummy bear reaction worked really well. We saw the amount of energy being given off and the amazing sort of purpley pink flame that happened too. What I want to reiterate here is that it's this is not what's happening inside your cells to do with respiration. It's a slow controlled process that happens in three different stages and energy is given off in certain amounts at each time, which is why we were using the yeast experiment at the beginning. But 
that just takes too long and we want to be a bit more excitable here. So I tell you what, we're going to scale this up even more, which is your cue to subscribe. Subscribe to Head Squeeze and you can leave some comments about any of the reactions that you've seen. How's your yeast doing? Let's have a little look at ours over here. Not bad, not bad. They were singing away to me earlier on. This one seems to be doing a bit better than the green one. So we'll leave those at the side and we're going to keep going up. Let's, let's make a bigger flame. So it's very simple. I'm going to use a funnel, some just plastic tubing, and we're going to attach it with some gaffer tape. We're going to put some icing sugar. So the icing sugar is going to take the place of the gummy bear. It's going to act like your food source, like your glucose. And this is going to allow you to see how much potential energy would be inside your food. Get your goggles on, safe, safe, safe. At all times, let's light our gas. Got our icing sugar in our funnel. Gonna bring the lights down a wee bit. Okay, we're doing a nice countdown. Three, two, one. One more. Three, two, one. Woo! Pretty good. And there we go, and all is calm now. There we go. And I'm not on fire. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>